In recent times, a significant threat has been emerging on the cybersecurity landscape, one that brings into question the safety of our very own homes. Welcome to today's discussion on the Badbox 2.0 botnet, an insidious operation targeting home networks across the globe. The FBI has raised alarms about this sophisticated campaign, which doesn't show signs of abating, despite earlier disruptions. Badbox 2.0 represents an evolution from its predecessor, originally discovered in 2023. This offensive effort by cyber criminals primarily targets IoT, or Internet of Things devices, especially those running on Android operating systems. Notably, the attack strategy is quite cunning. Many devices are compromised right from the start, with malicious software embedded in their firmware prior to purchase. This tactic ensures that even before these products reach consumers, they are already part of a sprawling network of impromptu digital soldiers harnessed for nefarious activities. Interestingly, the operation suffered partial setbacks when companies like Google and Trend Micro joined forces to curb its spread. Despite this, Badbox 2.0 persists, proclaimed by experts as the largest botnet ever discovered that exploits connected TV devices. The appeal of these devices is understandable. They can bridge personal home networks with vast tracts of the internet, creating countless backdoors for cyber attackers. Moreover, this botnet isn't just confined to devices with embedded malware. It's versatile enough to infect through apps downloaded from unofficial sources. As of the FBI's latest reports, the devices caught in this cyber web include various Android open source project products, many of which reportedly originate from specific manufacturers in China. Now, the question arises, how do we, as everyday users, shield ourselves from such a pervasive cyber threat? The FBI and cybersecurity firms offer robust advice. Always update your device software and firmware. Refrain from downloading apps from unofficial platforms and scrutinize the origins of your IoT purchases. These steps are your first line of defense against potential breaches. Another crucial aspect to consider is vigilance. Signs that your device may be caught in the Badbox 2.0 snare include unexpected internet traffic, devices not certified by Google Play Protect, or unfamiliar brands loaded with subversions that require disabling security settings. Should you suspect an infiltration, it's imperative to report the incident through channels like the FBI's Internet Crime Complaint Center. In conclusion, Securing our digital environments isn't just a recommendation, it has become a necessity. As cyber threats grow more advanced, so too must our awareness and proactive strategies. The Bad Box 2.0 is not merely a window into illegal activities, it's a wake up call for all digital users to tighten security and remain informed. Let us remain vigilant, informed, and prepared to defend our digital sanctuaries from such pervasive threats. Thank you for joining us today, and stay safe out there in the digital world.